Hello, friends. Good evening. Happy Tuesday. Susan Campfield here with SueStanfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, relax. We're going to create and have fun tonight. Uh, grab your beverage of choice. I have ice water in my cup tonight. Let me know what's in your cup. I am a messy crafter. This is real time. <laughs> real time crafting. So uh, I'm going to lose stuff. And when, when I find it again, we'll play the found it game and we'll all take a sip. So make sure you've got something in your cup tonight. Paula's got water in her cup tonight too. So um, welcome everyone. So good to see you. Um, I'm, I'm back from the, the Stampin' uh, Norway incentive trip. Uh, if you subscribe to my Sue Stampfield project sheets, you should have gotten an email yesterday with two project sheets in it and a whole bunch of pictures from my, uh, my adventures in Europe. So um, thank you for letting me indulge and, and share those photos with you. Um, if you have not subscribed to my uh, free project sheets, you can do so right there. SueStanfield.com, click on subscribe. If you are subscribed and you're not getting the project sheets, uh, feel free to email me. You can go to my blog, SueStanfield.com, and uh, click on the contact form and uh, let me know, and we'll see if we can figure it out. And oh gosh, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna be leaving banners up tonight. I am. I am less jet lagged than I was, <laughs> but I'm still waking up at 5:30 every morning, which. For some of you, that's probably your normal. I tend to be a late night crafter. Um, so it's a little out of the norm for me. So I'm um, still getting up really early, but it's good because it's been um, it's been very hot here in Minnesota. So I've been getting out early for dog walks and then usually take a nap midday. Didn't get a nap in today, but um, yeah, we uh, we are ha you, hazy in Ohio. Yep, we're having um, it's a lot of fires right now up in Canada. And so there's a little bit of smokiness and poor, uh, poor breathing. So I hope that's not affecting too many of you. Um, yes, we're going to make a card tonight um, on the Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip. I got some swap cards. Um, I participated in a swap that Stampin' Up! organized. And one of the cards I shared, I shared a bunch of them in the last video. And uh, we're going to make one of those fun folds that was uh, made by my friend Ruth Bingle, actually. So we're going to recreate Ruth's card. We're going to use a little bit different products. I haven't made it. I don't know what it's going to end up looking like. Um, I gave Jennifer the measurements of what I think <laughs> I think it's going to be, um, but she's good at working on the fly. Shout out to my awesome moderator, Jennifer Walsh, hanging out in the comments. If you have a question and I miss it, you can uh, do the at symbol and type Jennifer's name and uh, that will flag her. And so she can try to jump up and down and get my attention so I can, we can get your question answered. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, you're in New York, Joy. Yeah, the smoke is really bad there where you are. I've heard that. Um, so let's, let's forget about all that stuff and just get lost in some paper crafting. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and what am I doing? I'm hitting all the buttons. <laughs> I oh, don't even know. There we go. Let's go to my desk. Hello, desk. Yay. All right. So um, we don't want that. We want Ruth's card. Oh, my gosh. Did I lose? Oh, found it. Mm, it was under my dimensions. We have our very first little sip of the night, folks. Mm. It could be a could be a very well hydrated evening. <laughs> so this is the card I got from Ruth Bengal. And it's a fun fold card. So it opens up like this. That's the full extension. Why is my camera so close? I don't know. Um, that's the full extension. And then you can actually stand it uh, up on a desk for display. Now, that reminds me a bit of an easel card. Um, recently, uh, I did a video. Oh, where is it? Hang on. I pulled it out before I started. Oh, here it is. Found it Ugh, under three other cards. Mm. Our second found it sip of the night. Take a sip of your beverage, everyone. <laughs> and uh, so 
This is the one I made recently with the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. Love that one. This one I actually created for my team. I did a, a collaboration event with uh, three other demonstrators uh, for our teams, and we each made two cards with this particular bundle and then did project sheets for the team. So this is what you call an easel card. So it has a... Um, part on the inside that is raised up by dimensionals and then you stand it um this is like an easel so, so that's the 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 back that holds up that center part so you certainly could turn this one into the an easel card but it seems to actually just stand up fine on its own so um, you could go either way on that. So we're going to make it, I think, just like this. We, 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 we can decide if we want to put a little stand. Maybe at mine won't stand up as well. And we need to add something, something. So, um, so we're going to recreate this fold. Now, Jennifer, after I sent you those dimensions, <laughs> I kind of started changing my mind. So you're going to have to go on the fly. So sorry. Oh, my goodness. Jennifer is a patient, patient woman. <laughs> um, so yeah, Annie, you need to start taking smaller sips. What's in your cup tonight, Annie? <laughs> um, all right. So I got this swap card. Um, I didn't show this on the last video. I have actually a whole pile that I haven't showed you yet. Um, this card was from Glenda Calkins. Now you can see that Glenda used the same. Why is my camera blurry? Hang on. Hang on. Let's just, there we go. Um, Glenda and Ruth used the same bundle, and that is the Circle Sayings bundle with the um, two and three eighths inch circle punch. Stampin' Up! has, to my knowledge, we've never had a two and three eighths inch circle punch before. So if you're wondering if this is a size you already have, probably not if you have just Stampin' Up! punches. Um, so it is made to go with these. And then we have a couple other circle punches. I believe they're still on back order, but when they come back in stock, they also work well um, with this bundle. This is another card that I made with that circle sayings. In fact, boy, I've been in blue mood lately. Haven't I? Um, this was the spring uh, board fun fold uh, cards from... April's crafter noon. This is a tutorial. You can find the, all the details on this fun fold card on my blog. But I do love, um, I love these, uh, the circle sayings. It's just um, a really nice set. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, or you just love using punches, because they're quick and easy, this card is great, right? It's just punches, there's no die cutting. However, Glenda, she used the punch and then she paired it with some dies. And I did not even know that these dies paired up. <laughs> this is the Stylish Shapes dies. And she used some of those to, uh, and they perfectly layer with the circle punch. How cool is that? So pretty awesome. Um, so I don't know. Um yeah, we're probably going to stick with this one. Jennifer, we're probably going to stick with the dimensions I sent you, but this would be another option. So we're going to go just punches tonight because we're going to change this up a little bit. And we're going to add, we're, uh, we're going to use circle sayings, but we're going to use some designer series paper. Now, Ruth did use a little bit here. She used the um, Countryside Inn designer series paper. You may or may not be aware that Stampin' Up! has all almost all of the designer papers on sale this month. An uh, exception to that is the, um, the Color Family designer papers are not part of that sale, uh, but I think almost everything else is, and including the Countryside Inn. And uh, a lot of my customers have been having uh, fun taking advantage of that. It's always uh, great to add some uh, d designer series papers to your stash uh, to make just add that little something something to your card. This was made by um, Alana Wharf, and uh, we kind of uh, helped inspire me in the last video. We made these two cards. So this designer series paper is called Masterfully Made. It's also on sale. I love Delana's cards. So this is the one that we made in the last video with the berry burst. You, you all voted for the berry burst pattern and, and layer. And then after the video, I made the other one with the sweet sorbet um, and the, the pattern that had the sweet sorbet. And I posted that in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group and the majority liked the berry burst better. So I like them both. Some like them both. Um, this one's just really bright and happy. It kind of depends who you're sending it to sometimes, doesn't it? And, and that's, 
that's the goal, right, friends? Uh, make the cards, send the cards. That You are all so great at that. And so um, thank you for all you do. And uh, actually, tomorrow is World Caring Day. World Care Day. So it's a great day to send a card to someone that you want to just brighten their day tomorrow. So we're going to make this fun fold card. Let's get started. And we're going to use a designer paper back here as well. We'll see how that looks. Um, the designer paper I think we're going to use. Oh, <laughs> I have a picture for my trip <laughs> sitting right here. Uh, just, this is pretty hilarious. We went to the Warner Brothers Studios, the making of Harry Potter. And um, it, it was a it was a really cool tour. And they <laughs> take your picture on a broom with a green screen. And so here I am playing Quidditch and trying to get the golden snitch. <clears throat> okay, that was... <laughs> in my stack to show you. Yes, I am. I am a 60 year old kid. It is very true. All right. So we're going to make this card and I think we're going to use this designer series paper, which is called Delightfully Eclectic. Now this is a ginormous stack of paper. You're going to get just a huge variety of colors, lots of the new colors um, and patterns to use. Um, if you don't like one side, like you're not into pretzels, uh, the other side is super cute with the stripes. I can just see a birthday card with that, can't you? Um, this one with the letters, you can cut apart and make words, or you can use the back side with the hearts and the pretty peacock. Um, super, super cute paper. It's, it's, there's so much, <laughs> so many fun patterns. Okay, we're going to try, which one are we going to use? Hang on, we haven't got there yet. Where is it? Did I pass it? Oh my goodness. All right, hang on. We'll find it. You know I will. I think I just saw it. <gasps> Found it. Here it is. I'm going to use this one. So pretty. So pretty. So we might, I don't know, we might use this too. So this has some uh, bubble bath in it and also has Knight of Navy. So for our card base, I'm going to go with the Knight of Navy and pick up that Navy coloring there. Um, at the last Crafternoon, we did the double decker fun fold. Crafternoon is my monthly uh, class. I do it as a virtual class, but my customers get a packet to make one of the fun fold cards. Um, this was one of the alternate designs, and this one uses a different pattern of the same paper and the darling details. Um, uh, um, <laughs> the darling details uh, bundle. Okay, mm, I knew I'd get there in the end. All right, let's go ahead and cut our paper. So I have a piece of Knight of Navy right here. And let's grab a paper trimmer. All right, so Jennifer is reminding me, I always forget to say that. Jennifer, you're just so good at that. Um, she is reminding me that if you place a $50 order, um, in my online store, you're going to qualify for Crafternoon in July. So in July, you'll get a packet and an invitation to join the video and make your card that's in your packet. You'll also get the full tutorial for all the projects. And every month is a different fun fold. Usually I just make them up. Um, they're unique and I enjoy doing that. So we're going to cut our paper here. We're going to cut our, I'm very my measurements here. We're going to cut our paper at four and a quarter by 11. Measure twice, cut once, right? I, um, I just don't trust myself tonight. I'm still a little foggy. All right, so let's cut it at four and a quarter by 11. Set that aside because I think I'm going to need that. And then we're going to do some scoring here. So we're going to score it at two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, not cutting, Susan. Get the cutting blade out of there. Two and a quarter, and then five and a half. So slide it over here. Do five and a half. All right, so that is our card base. So I'm going to fold it like this in half at the five and a half inch line. And then that first score mark, that two and a quarter inch score mark, we're going to fold backwards. Now I have typed up these dimensions. Jennifer, if you're watching on YouTube, Jennifer is dropping those dimensions in the, in the live comments. I've also got them typed up and I will try 
to remember at the end to put them on screen for you. I say try because sometimes I forget. All right. There we go. All right. So we've got that um, scored. And now we're going to cut our layers. And this is where I have to just stop and think for a minute. All right. We're going to take some basic white here. And let's go ahead and cut this. So our front layers are three and a quarter by three and three quarters. So, you know, I'm just going to cut this at three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by three and a quarter. That's what I said, correct? All right. And then we're going to do a layer of Knight of Navy under that. So this is going to be three and a half by three. All right. Let's see, that is not right, Susan. I just cut it three by three. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> we'll be saving that for another project. Oh my goodness. All right. That was three and a quarter by three. Is that even right? That's right, but this doesn't look right. Oh my goodness. All right. Hang on. Yep. This one is cut. No, that's right. Oh dear. Okay, hey, Jennifer, those dimensions I sent you are wrong. <laughs> let's let's figure out what they're supposed to be. <gasps> okay, I lost my ruler. I seriously, I just had it. <gasps> Found it. It's under the dimensionals. Okay, take a sip, everyone. <laughs> oh. mm. Right, Linda? Linda says I can blame the jet lag. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Three and a half by three. Oh my goodness. I can't measure tonight, you guys. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right. We're going to get there, friends. <laughs> we are, we are going to do this. Look at all the fun Night of Navy scraps I have. All right. What did I just cut that? <laughs> oh, we are spiraling down a dangerous path. All right. It's okay. <laughs> Hurrah, we did it, friends. All right, let's just do a little recap there. <laughs> the front layer pieces are uh, three and a quarter by three and three quarters and three by three and a half. You know what? They were right on my sheet. I just read them wrong. <laughs> Jennifer had them right. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Deep breath. All right. All right, we're doing awesome here. <laughs> we are off to the races. All right, so now we're going to add in our designer series paper. <gasps> so pretty. Let's see if I cut this one right. Oh, hallelujah, I did. All right, this is two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And Jennifer, when I initially sent you that email, I had the measurements wrong on that. And I did send a correction, but it was right before we started. So I don't know if you even saw that. All right. So this is going to go right on the front of our card. Oh, it's so pretty already. We can almost stop here. <laughs> We're doing great. All right. So um, we are going to do this inside layer. Let's get that going. So that's going to be good old four by five and a quarter. I don't even have to measure it. <laughs> because I'm doing so well tonight with the measurements. Why would I need to bother? Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> oh, rain me in, friends. I am all over the place. All right. Okay, there we go. So four by five and a quarter, and that is going to go on the inside of our card. All right. Now, Ruth, on her card, she did this piece back here. And I, I like how she very cleverly cut it shorter because that's all that shows from the front, right? And even when it's standing, um, you know, that's that's enough. <laughs> so if you are doing a large group of cards and you're tight on paper, you know, you can make those little paper saving choices. This one is one and three quarters by four and a quarter. Um, 
So I have a question for you all. I might answer my own question. I don't really like that. I think we're going the wrong direction there. Nope, 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 nope. That's off the table. All right, let's try this. So my question for you all is, when we put our designer paper up here, should we go with the floral side so that it matches the front piece? Or should we do the flip side uh, with the squares? So let me know in the comments if you think we should go with the floral or the squares. And I will go off your recommendation there for this piece back here. Um, we actually could do the whole piece. That might be fun. It's not going to match Jennifer's dimensions. Let's see here. Those are our options right there. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Floral or squares? Mm, boy, it's hotly contested. Same as front, mat, square, 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 floral, square, flip side, floral, floral, floral. Boy, it's pretty evenly split. All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same dimensions. Am I, am I going to do that? Oh, I don't know. All right. Four and a quarter. You're all very patient people. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Thank you for being patient with me while I figure out which direction we want to go here. So my piece is exactly the right size. So I think we're just going to go with the full piece. Is that being paper wasteful? All right, we're going to do our circle and then we're going to come back to that on the squares. Now, if you were, if you wanted to send this um, to a, uh, if you wanted to make it a little more uh, masculine or less, uh, less flowery, I know some of you are not flower fans, you could always just flip that over and do the whole thing um, with the squares. I don't think there's a, a wrong choice there. I think they're both look nice. So um, let's see what this looks like does look kind of fun with the flower and the flower. Mm, I don't know. So many good options. All right. Let's stamp our circle and see if that helps us decide. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my circle punch here. Let's pop open our circle sayings. I do love flowers and I'm putting flowers on this card. So I'm going to go with the flower stamp. You can see it's had a good run. And here we have a block D. It's kind of a dirty block D. Oh, seriously, I am so bad about cleaning my blocks. <clears throat> I just use the Stampin' Mist and you can use a glass uh, glasses cleaning cloth to just polish that up. You don't want to scratch your blocks. And we're just going to pop this on here like so. Now this is a clear, this is a photopolymer stamp set. So I do like to put the um, stamp and pierce mat under it. Um, I get a better impression that way. And let's pull out our Knight of Navy ink pad here. And we're just going to do navy and white. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love navy and white. Blue in general <laughs> is a favorite of mine. So I'm going to stamp this right here. And that cushion adds a cushion back here. So when you have a um, cling mount stamp set like this one, you can see it's got the built-in foam on it. The photopolymer don't have that. So if you put a cushion underneath it, you often get a better image, especially when it's a solid stamp like this. And then we're going to grab a greeting here. Um, let's go with... Let's go. Should we do a thank you or a happy birthday? Mm. Warm hello. Thank you. Happy birthday. Let me know in the comments which one you think we should do. Uh, hello, thank you, or happy birthday. Let me know. And I'm going to grab. All right. I already lost. How did I lose the circle? Oh, found it. <laughs> it's right here. Take another sip, friends. Mm. Hello, Kathy. So glad you're tuning in. Make sure you have a beverage because we're, <laughs> we're, we're going for a record tonight. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this out while you all vote for thank you, hello, or happy birthday. 
so pretty. You can't go wrong with navy on white, right? It's just the perfect combination. All right, so I've got that punched, and I am looking for my greeting here. Um, hello is the the most popular one. So let's go with warm hello. It's kind of a nice sentiment, isn't it? It's better than just hello. It's a warm hello. Just a little more friendly. Okay, you gotta put the put it on the block the right direction, Susan. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Did I mention I was up at 5:30 today? And it's seven. Well, it's almost eight o'clock now. So I'm getting a little punchy, I think. All right, warm hello. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that font. It's just lovely. All right, so let's bring this in and take a look at our card. Do I want to close this yet? All right, I'm going to live dangerously and leave it open, but it probably means I'll dip something important into it. <clears throat> All right, let's bring in our card. This is a card, believe me. It will, it will get there. So there we have our pretty floral. There we have our warm hello on the pretty floral. That's going to go right there. And then we can do more floral back here. That's what that would look like. Oh, let's add that white in so we can see what it, the whole picture is. Or we can flip this around and do the squares. I think I'm going to go... The other option is to leave that out entirely. Nope, I do like it there. All right, I'm going to go with the squares and the flowers. You might disagree with me, and that's okay. You can um, make this card and do it a different way if that is your preference. Um, so let's go ahead and do some sticking down. <laughs> What am I sticking down? Oh, let's start with this. All right. Uh oh, uh, this is bad news. I see red on my seal. Ah, but fortunately, I've got another one here that does have some in it. So whew, we are saved, friends. All right. And in case you're wondering what it would look like with the. See, I got someone that says flowers and someone that says squares. <laughs> So if you're wondering what it would look like, oh, this looks nice too, you guys. Oh my goodness. Let's look at this. So many options. Look at all the ways we could do this card and they all look awesome. Seriously, they look awesome. So we could do that. Mm. So many choices. Well, I think I like this. All right, we're going to put this on the front here. Quick, before I change my mind. <laughs> All right, let's pop this in place here. Love this uh, delightfully eclectic paper, I believe it's called. And I don't want to stick this in yet because I think we're going to put a sentiment on there. The other option, um, if you know, we're making a card that does not have any die cutting um, or die cutting machine on it. However, if you do have a die cutting embossing machine, you could put an emboss layer back here too. That would be another great option. Now, the trick with this card is you don't want to put adhesive all over or you will glue your card set. <clears throat> I've done that <laughs> on videos before. It was not that long ago, was it? Mm. And then we had to fix it. So... All right, so I've got my adhesive on there and I'm gonna go ahead. So I, it's easier for me, I think, to put the adhesive here um, so then I don't have to figure out what's too far. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, we just pop that right on there. <gasps> Such pretty paper. All right, and then this one, we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. Now, there's some pretty greens in this paper too. You absolutely could do this in greens or pick up one of these other colors if you prefer. Let's, uh, that's one of the great things about designer series paper when you're creating. Uh, sometimes it's hard to know what colors to go with. When you're using a designer paper, that takes away some of the question mark because you can pull out some of the colors in the paper. And so that helps narrow it down a little bit. 
All right, so we've got a little dimensional action on the back of our warm hello there. And we're going to go ahead and put this layer on the inside. Yep, I'm going to do it, you guys. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to stamp on it, and I might mess it up, but then we can figure out how to fix it. <laughs> That's half of what stamping is, right? Figuring out how to fix our mistakes. All right, so there we have our inside layer, and you know, it's super cute like that. Seriously, see how it, mine doesn't stand up as well as Roos does. Mine is a little bit fl floppy. So let's talk about that. We talked about an easel card and, and how you would do that. So if you wanted to, I mean, it still stands up okay. See, now there it's cooperating. Maybe I just needed to pull it back and stand it up. But you also could put a, a little stand in here, just like that easel card I showed you earlier, the sun right here, where you raise up something on dimensionals on the inside. Now this one, it was a sentiment. You could do a sentiment here, but you also could do a skinny strip of designer paper that is a stand. Let, let me show you what that would look like here. Just going to grab my paper trimmer. Oh, let's go. How about a half inch? How does that strike you? I'm going to go a half inch by four. Come here. There we go. And we can put that right here and raise that up on dimensionals and that can be a stand. Um, I, I, I love to layer friends. So I um, personally, I'm going to use one of the many, many, many <laughs> extra pieces of Knight of Navy I have over here because I was cutting everything wrong today. So this one is going to be four inches by three quarter inches. Come here, you. Because I have so much Knight of Navy. Oh, my goodness. All right. <clears throat> ah, crafting adventures. Never a dull moment. Now, of course, on this one, you also could use the squares or you could use the floral side. I'm going to go with the floral side. And I'm going to just put that inside the card here up on dimensionals. If it feels like I'm making this up as I go, it's because I am making this up as I go. <laughs> All right. There we go. <clears throat> so this will be our little easel stand. Just want to make sure I'm putting it in the right. Oh, that's nice. I like that right there. And then when the card's closed, you can see it just a little bit on each side. It adds a little something, something to the card. And then they can stand it up for display. Oh, cute. We're making it even better, right? Honestly, don't know that we need anything up here. Now that we've added that bit down there, let's see what the floral looks like. I'm going to give it one more go here. It's okay, but I, I don't think it's necessary. So I think I'm going to leave that off. All right, we have we have just done some, um, some total changes here. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I think we might need, hmm, I think we might need a little bling on the front. Might need a little bling on the front. Pink pearls in the center of the flower stamp would be pretty. Yes, it would. Oh, yeah, a little... You know what uh, Ruth did? Where did Ruth? Oh, I lost Ruth's card. Oh, found it. Here it is. Did you see how it was hiding there? Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. She used Wink of Stella on the flowers. Um, I, it's just not showing up at all. Uh, did she? Oh, wait. I thought she did. Yeah, she did. It's just not showing up on camera at all. Okay. Let me grab some gems here. Hang on. This one... Would this one work? These are actually, uh, these. this is a Tinsel Gems three pack. This is actually Misty Moonlight here. So that would be one option. Uh, let me look in my drawer of fun here. I think that's, there is, um, there actually are some Night of Navy Gems and I don't have them yet. Why I don't have them? Well, I don't know. 
Oh, wait, here we go. Whoops. This one I think is actually, um, it's not Knight of Navy. It's actually, uh, my brain just quit working entirely. Hang on. It's blueberry bushel, actually. Um, that might be too blue. And this might be too light. Hmm. And so I have the green. No, I don't care for the green. All right. We might go with some pearls. So hang on here. Oh, I do have these. Hang on. <laughs> these are actually the in-color pearls. So this is Starry Sky. Um, I could do that in the center of some of these. Or we can go with the iridescent pearls. And put some of those around. I think we'll go with that. Iridescent pearls are going to go with anything, right? All right. So we could do them in the center of the flowers. Or we could do them around the sentiment. I'm going to do them around the sentiment. Again, there's no right or wrong answer here. And... I actually like how Ruth did hers. She did uh, one big one here and two little ones there. Kind of doing them all around there. So there we have our warm hello. Now, a warm hello could be a birthday card, right? So we could have a happy birthday in there. It could be a thank you. It could be just warm hello because you're awesome. Uh, could be smile today. Um, it could be thinking of you. Let's do thinking of you. How about that? So I'm going to open up my card here and I'm going to grab thinking of you. I can also do sending you a smile. Oh, that's even cuter. All right. Let me know, friends. Do we do thinking of you or sending you a smile? Let me know in the comments. And while you are voting, I'm going to pull out the Stampin' Pierce mat again and grab my Knight of Navy pad and get a block out and let's take a look and see what you decided we should go with there so uh which one are we doing um looks like sending you a smile i like it a good idea guys all right so let's go with sending you a now this one is a very solid stamp so definitely a good one to use that cushion on because it's um stamps the background and then the words um, don't actually have any ink on them sending you a smile let's make sure our smiles right side up <laughs> the way i'm going tonight that may not happen all right let's try it sending you a smile all right this looks totally crooked to me so i'm just going to stamp it on a scrap paper just to check it out here we go Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Kind of like the measure twice, cut once deal, right? Stamp on a scrap paper and make sure you got on the block straight. All right. Sending you a smile. Cute. A warm hello. And then sending you a smile. So there we have. We made it into an easel card. Um, again, I don't know that you would have to make it into an easel card. But if you want to ensure that it is going to stand up, that gives you a little extra um, reliability. Here's Ruth's version. Again, if you open it all the way, it does kind of stand up right on its own. So there we have our two different options. And then I wanted to share those dimensions with you. Um, I need to do just a little editing here because we changed one size of the designer paper. Whoops, hang on. That's wrong. All right, we changed this uh, one to was half inch by three quarters of an inch. All right, there we go. Oops, there we go. Save and let's see if that looks right to us. All right, I'm going to just. Bring this down closer so that you can get a screenshot here. So the card base, I'm double checking my math here, four and a quarter by 11 scored at two and a quarter and five and a half. That sounds right. 
the front layer was three and a quarter and then uh, by three and three quarters and then three by three and a half. And then the DSP was two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And our other strip of DSP was a half inch by three fourths. I don't have the layer on those measurements, but the layer was three fourths by, wait, that is not right. Something's wrong. Hang on, hold on. There's a typo right here. Oh, typos. Oh, typos are bad. All right, half inch by four. That's what this piece is. And I layered it on a three quarter inch by four piece of cardstock. So there we have our card. Hurrah. <laughs> so this again is the delightfully eclectic uh, paper. The strips are four inches long. Yes, right, Ellen. Thanks for correcting that. Sorry for the boo boo. And super easy card. Now, I think it would be just as cute with some of the other papers in this pack. Like I can see it with this flower, this floral paper back here um, from this card. This is also from the same pack of paper. And, you know, you could do it with just the stripes. I mean, so many possibilities. This is, that's the other side of the, the flowers. Let's bring this in here. This is the one that we used. And this one with the tulips, also super cute. This one is more misty moonlight instead of night of navy. So it's a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. Just really, really fun. And uh, let's see, we looked at that one. Can you see the possibilities? I hope you can see some of the possibilities here. If you wanted just a bright and happy birthday card, you could use the stripe pattern on the back. Um, but any of these papers would be really cute on this card. Some little pretty peacock hearts there would be cute. So I hope that inspired your creativity. You could even do something like this where you don't have the circle punch out and you just have the daisies there and then just do the sentiment on the inside and you kind of skip that whole um, focal point on the front because you've got a paper that has a pretty solid pattern like that. So this is another one that you could do that with. All right, let's put that aside. And I'm going to flip the camera here. And hi, Joan. Let's see. Oh, wait, inside layer. Uh, let me look at that question. Sue Meyer says inside layer is four by five and a quarter. That is correct, Sue. I left that off of my banner, didn't I? So yes, that is the inside is four by five and a quarter, the basic white piece here. <laughs> All right, let me flip the camera around. There we go. Yay. All right, it's 8.16. It's almost time for Susan to go to bed and get up at 5.30 tomorrow, right? Actually, I've been staying up to 11 and then getting up at 5.30, which doesn't make any sense. That really is not a good plan. All right, everyone, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And thanks for making and sending all the handmade cards that you do. Let me grab this banner, take that down. And just a quick reminder, I sent project sheets out yesterday. I'll be sending another batch um, probably next week because I created quite a few when I was on the plane. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so at SueStampfield.com. Click on subscribe and I'll get you some inspiration in your inbox. I'll be back again this coming Saturday at 730 Central with another crazy video adventure. Thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.